this is what it looks like now and it's just tired it did well this is what we're gonna do yay new body okay let's see you got the body leave the protective film on when you paint it those are the decals those go on the outside those are after you're done with everything these little guys those screws and nuts those hold on the tail if you don't put the tail on hang on to those screws and nuts those nuts work on the shocks and the screws work for the servo mounting the servo so they're pretty handy to have and make sure you wash your body with soap and water I mean soap and water wash that thing out leave the film on the outside that's to keep your overspray um, but you want to make sure you wash it with soap and water wash it really good and rinse it really really good I wouldn't use super hot water um, I don't know maybe you can but uh, it just seems like using super hot water might encourage it to uh, maybe warp or misshape yep. okay dry it off with paper towels remember this is just how I do it I have fun I just dry it off with paper towels make sure it's nice and clean and then I'm just using regular masking tape and painters tape no reason in particular other than those two are that much different so I figure the difference between the two uh, split on both sides and that should give me a good pinstripe so I tape with the larger one first and wherever you tape is where the paint isn't so that'll leave a void and then you come back and put the next color in that void and tape off any parts of that void you don't want painted but make sure you get the tape pressed down really really nice into all the contours you don't want any overspray getting underneath the tape any of the corners and where it goes into the cab any deep places like that it's it's hard to make sure you've got enough slack so make sure you've got plenty of room and you can press it all the way in to the cab up against the windows and everything wherever you're masking okay there we go that's the color green uh we're gonna shoot this is called a tack coat first coat you put on you want it to be super light but in all directions on all surfaces that you're gonna paint it's called a tack coat it helps everything stick better um, that's just your first coat of paint you lay down um, some people try and save paint and and not paint over their mask areas and I, I from painting cars I know that's generally you want to go ahead and paint over the masking too. Um, a good wet coat on there just like you were doing the rest of the body that that keeps you from fading the paint when you get toward the masking and it also keeps you from uh, having dry overspray on your masking if it's not wet every time you spray it okay so we tear the masking out and, and there you go it's clear and that was about six coats of green and it's still kind of see-through now what you back your your color up with makes a difference so the next color you put on if if you're going a darker color it's gonna it's gonna flatten out and darken the color you just put on if you use a lighter color see I just went black and you notice the green isn't popping like it was it's not as vibrant or electric now the overspray cover still on the outside but I removed that layer of masking and now we're gonna shoot uh, the last color into the open areas oh yeah I did something custom on the tail I thought it might be fun I tried to make it look like it was on supports rather than just a whole thing right there yeah there it is I mean we'll get the film off that feels really good that's enjoyable to do I sped it up but it's really enjoyable peeling that film off and just seeing what you did there it is that is nice it was quick and easy I mean the whole thing I, I didn't pay attention to drying times or anything else I'll just spray a tack coat on there once that dries up a little bit shoot a couple of color coats here we go we're gonna put the decals or the stickers on um hey whenever you're doing bodies make sure that the stickers you get some of them are meant to be interior masks in other words you put them over the windows on the inside and when you spray all your spray and, and, and you're done you peel them off and your wind your windows are clear and other ones like these are actually window stickers you put on the outside to make it look like a window. But yeah, I like putting those on. Make sure I get all the advertisers' names on there. Low C and Horizon. 
This is our Mini T 2.0 brushless. With a brand new set of whole shot tires. Yes, Pro Line whole shots all the way around now. That was a lot of fun.